In 1857, Woodbury Brown began keeping a journal to record the planning, construction, raising, and maintenance of a modern barn for the family farm. This new barn would replace the two older dilapidated barns, and it's not something the whole family welcomed. This time in America was characterized by a specific approach to agriculture and many of these new gable barns can still be seen around the town of Rye today. The journal holds a record of the lumber that was collected, barn raising, and the expenses that the Brown family incurred and the upkeep of the barn for the next 30 years. Short narratives give us the voice of Woodbury, who was a teenager when the journal begins and matures over the years to marry and raise his own family. Woodbury Brown wants to build a new barn, but he needs help. He needs to convince his grandfather and his father. Reason one was the old barn was in bad shape and it did not look good. Reason two is the old barn made it too cold for the animals in the winter because the roof leaked and it was drafty. Snow would get in, stuff like that. Woodbury Brown des described the barn like this. No doors this end, long barn door south side, second joint from the end shingles, war shingles blown off bad, no clapboards on was there a board and end the doors not match. Here we take a jump back in time to 1857 where the Brown family collected wood from local woodlots to build the barn. They then would get local wood mills such as the Genis Mill, Nat Marston's Mill, and Disco's Mill. First week of December brought on the best of sledding which continued most all winter by frequent snow coming level and not very deep made good both in woods and road, said Woodbury Brown. The wood was, the wood was then cut and up, up into pieces that were able to be used to construct the barn. It took three years to get all the materials, but in 1860, the Browns were finally ready. They hired Isaac Jennings. They then got many friends who helped raise the barn before putting on the walls on it and some final finishing touches. In 1860, there was a drought during the spring. The drought lasted six weeks. The drought was helpful in tearing down the old barn. It made it easier to clean up the contents of the old barn because all of the wood was dry and easy to move. This barn was built in 1860. To start building the barn, it was very important to have insurance, especially fire insurance because of the hay, which caused fires. Once they got insurance, Moses and his friends started to paint the barn. They bought linseed oil, white paint that lasts at least 10 years, and a lot of tools. They kept a journal of all barn expenses like paint, paint brushes, and lead paint, and to keep track of dates and the money they spent on the barn. The Brown family was very good at keeping their barn looking nice and clean. To keep it nice, they repainted their barn every two years so it would not chip off. Here are some quotes from the Brown family. I bought in Portsmouth to whitewash back side of the barn, March 1st. I painted West Barn doors, 2 ounces blue, 3 pounds lead, 1.5 quarts oil. February 12th, I painted the barn doors east and the south side, closed up with the Atlantic Insurance Company. Henrita stopped Moses from painting and talked and pulled away from the holding the ladder and helped me all I wanted. 